Hey everybody, um, we are starting a vlog for Project 24. <laughs> These videos are gonna come out sporadically, um, but hopefully with some regularity. Um, and they just we just kinda wanna share the really in the moment tips yep. of the things that we're doing and learning. Which is why this is totally unscheduled. It's something we just do whenever there's an in the moment tip to share. Like now when we're on a mountainside. <laughs> <laughs> So in this vlog, we want to share with you um, some videos that are upcoming on the YouTube channel. We're doing a three uh, channels, three video series for the YouTube channel of um, like, you know, we always use a ghost town for our metaphor of just like what it's like when you're starting your website. It feels like nobody's there. Um, so, you know, it was a long drive to get out here. Um, <laughs> yep. And so we kind of wanted to maximize our recording time. So we just wanted to share with you a little bit of our process for how we're making YouTube videos um, so that, you know, you can recreate it on whatever niche that you're doing. Um, so our process starts uh, on our Notes app. We both have yep. iPhones. Yep. We use the Notes app. Um, and um, do you have my, your phone here? I have my phone. Show them. So we have just like, we just have a note of just income school YouTube ideas. And it's, we probably have a hundred things on Where's there. Where's my notes app? <laughs> it's vanished. Um, the, so we probably have like a hundred different ideas. Or even like, you know, I'll think of just something funny to do. Um, uh, you know, like this week I thought, oh, a tug of war between me and Ricky would be, be hilarious. Awesome. <laughs> so I have no idea what I'm going to do with that. But it's like tug of war would be cool. Yeah, whenever the idea comes, just... We just put it as a note. Yeah, so then the note is just totally messy. It's just brainstorm. Um, and then when we, you know, are going to be recording a video for the week, um, then we'll kind of, we'll just sit down and talk through it and try to put something together. Yeah, exactly. So um, it turns from that random brainstorm into more of an outline. And usually it's a combination. We like have this idea, okay, we're going to do a tug of war, which is not what we're doing today. Um, but we're going to do a tug of war in some Not video. on the mountain. It's not safe. And then there will be some other idea that makes sense to that the tug of war is a nice little metaphor or would be kind of a fun thing to add. So then those ideas kind of mesh together and it turns into an outline. Um, and it's not a real strict outline. We, we tend to then just kind of talk through um, exactly what we're going to do. We've, we've had a lot of times in the past where we've had to record every video about 17 times. Oh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> and so, so frustrating. What we started doing is talking through every video before we record it. That helps so much. A ton. That's what you were just doing. So exactly. Ricky is about to scale that. <laughs> He's going to scale that and we're going to have a drone movement coming over him with him like Mufasa on Fried Rock kind of thing. It's going to be epic. Awesome. But it, we're going to spend 20 minutes recording this shot if we don't have it really well planned out. So we definitely don't script like every word we say. Right. But like in an intro like this, the intro is pretty well scripted in most of our videos that like, you know, Ricky was just standing here. Yeah, he went over his line like say. 10 times so that when we get the drone out, we have to do it one time, <laughs> um, hopefully. Especially this shot. You guys are going to see it. It's going to have to be a one shot sort of deal. Uh -huh. So <laughs> we got to get it right the first time. So, um, so how we get the content together for the videos then is usually we have a concept that we want to show. So like in this video, the main concept is we keep seeing people who are like three weeks into their website and are like, oh, I picked the wrong niche. I'm losing motivation. And so we wanted to think like, okay, what process could we have to, to help those people so they don't right. feel that way? So that's what we want to get across. But we found that like if you do a video that's like just that, it just, it's not sexy enough. Yeah. You know, and so we had two things to add the interest. One is just analogies. We have yep. tons of object lessons um, of all the crazy it things you guys really have seen in our videos. Good point to just hit home, really. Yes. And it makes it more interesting as well. Uh huh. Yeah, the object lesson helps with that. And then we always take our list and we say, okay, but what's the ninja tip in here? What's something that's non obvious that we can add into this video? And that's really, I feel like where the video starts to reach the next level mm -hmm. um, is where we're thinking like, oh, uh, so we're doing a video about uh, about uh, experts. You know, there was the medic update to Google and we're like, okay, so Google wants more expert kind of content. And so we explained some concepts about how to avoid the problems there. But then we thought of, you know, one ninja tip. What if you go to Engadget and say, hey, I'm interviewing Waz 
and I think it'd be a great place to, to launch the interview here. And then you go to Waz and you say, hey, I wanna feature you on the homepage of Engadget. They've agreed to this feature. Can I interview you for 20 minutes? And suddenly you're there and you can get a link to your site. Like it's just a fun little ninja tip and we'll spend half an hour just trying to think, okay, but what's something non-obvious, something cool you could do, you know? And thinking back of things we've done in the past that have worked. Yep. That's it. That's kind of our process for doing it. Uh, oh, I guess then also the nuts and bolts really helps a lot if we record the audio. Like we use, well, I'll show you. This is a vlog, right? Is it in here? here? You'll be, oh yeah, yeah it's, it's here. here. Okay, so in the top pocket here, we'll show you some of the gear we use that is really helpful. Um, <coughs> these recorders are totally essential to the way we do videos. They're really cool. This is the Tascam DR10L. Um, it's not that expensive. It's just a lav mic, and you can sometimes see the little mic on our shirts clipped during the video. There. It does some cool things. Um, one, just a lav mic is nice because it reduces, you know, wind noise and stuff because it's really close to you. Um, but this is actually the recorder, too. That's what's unique about this one. Most of them are sending the signal to a receiver on the camera. We just found that to be somewhat unreliable. We lost too much audio. So it records it totally separate in memory cards in there. First device I've ever seen that works like that. Um, and so audio is recorded separately. The camera has its own video as kind of a backup and then it makes audio, it easy yeah. to sync. Yep. Um, and then we try to put all of the memory cards for one video. We take all the memory cards out and we put it in a little container or something so that we can edit those and we don't have to like, when we get home, we have three different YouTube videos, tons of different audio clips, drone clips, and we have to sort it all out. Yep. Like everything's just in its own separate thing. It like makes the editing way faster way faster twice as fast by doing that so that's, that's our process yeah pretty simple see you guys